So hello guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn about the threading in Android application. So in the first part, we will cover some basics and theory about the background threading. And in the second part, we will cover a practical example in which we will demonstrate the background threading in a step by step approach. So stay tuned and watch the video till the end. So what is background thread? By default, Android application completes its task and functionality in a single process or thread. It is also called the main thread. Usually the task and the functionalities are very smaller and it completes within no time. But suppose a case in which the task is lengthy. For example, Android application have to download a very large file. So if we are going to download the file in the single thread or the main thread, all functionality will be halted and freezed because Android application will have to work to download file first and then perform next task like you want to type or you want to navigate to another screen. But in this case, you cannot go to another screen because Android application is busy enough to download file. And after downloading that file, you will be able to perform the next task like navigating to another screen or order something. So we do not want an application to freeze or halt it at this moment because we want smooth user experience. To handle this situation, we start another process or thread, which is also called the background thread because it is running in the background and we allocate the responsibility to download this file to this process or thread. Meanwhile, the main thread will give the user the facility to navigate to another screen or to perform another user desired action. And when the file is downloaded completely, our background thread will notify us that the file is downloaded and the background thread will be finished and we will notify the user that his file or downloading task is completed in the thread handler. This mechanism is called background threading. So we can run one or multiple thread in Android application and allocate our lengthy or time consuming task to these backgrounding threads or processes. So now let's come towards the practical example. And let's create the project to demonstrate our backgrounding thread concept. For this, first of all, let's create a new project. And from here, select the empty activity and click next. So the name of application will be background thread. And we are okay with the package name, location, language, and SDK. And click finish button. Let's wait a while until our project is ready for the development. So, okay guys, our project is ready. Now let's come towards developing the user interface of our application. So from the layout, go to the activity main XML and from here, delete this text view and we will fetch a text view from here and place at appropriate location. Let's set its constraints. and adjust it to at appropriate location. Now let's draw a button and place under this text view. Let's set its constraints as well and try to place it right below the text view. So, okay guys, now let's come to the main activity dot Java class and make the button click event here. So we are uh, receiving some error because its class is not included in this project. So for this, click on the view and press Alt plus Enter. And you can see here its class is imported here and error is gone. Now let's allocate this button click event to this button. For this, go to code and from the button, we will type on click and we are seeing our button clicked event. So now let's set the text of text view in this button click event. So 
So guys, we have made a button click event and it is running in the main thread. That is the by default main thread. And we are setting the text of the text view in the button click event in the main thread. Let's build and compile this application. So guys, our application is running and when I'm going to click this button, I am seeing my button is clicked. So the tasks were very smaller and functionality is very smaller and it is accomplished with a no time. Now from here, let's stop this thread for some time, put a wait in this main thread. For this, we will write thread dot sleep. And from here, we will stop the main thread for 10 seconds. So 10,000 mean 10 seconds. Let's write a catch statement here. So guys, it is similar to the downloading file for 10 seconds, as we have discussed in the theory section. Let's build and compile the application again. So guys, when I'm going to click the button, you can see here my application is stopped and halted. This text is not being set. And I am seeing my application is stopped for 10 seconds. And after 10 seconds, my button is clicked. Because we put the wait in the main thread and our uh, text is appeared after 10 seconds. So this is similar to the downloading the file for 10 seconds. We do not want this behavior. We want smooth user experience. For this, we will have to run a thread here. And to make a background thread, we will make here runnable. So this is the object of the runnable. Now we will have to make a thread object background thread is equal to new and its instance will be runnable and from here we will start the thread now put our stop or wait process in this thread so guys this is our background thread and our wait statement or downloading file task will be allocated to this background thread Meanwhile, we will get our setting the text instantly. It will not be affected. For this, let's compile again and build the code. Now I'm going to press the button. You can see here button is clicked, but this task is also being performed in the background thread. And after 10 seconds, this task will be completed. So now let's come towards the threads handler. So when our thread or process completes its task, it will send a message to the thread handler so that we can be able to take specific decision or update UI accordingly to the message sent by the threads. For this, we will have to overwrite a handle message. Let's include or override that handle message here. So let's make a handler here. For this, we will make handler. And from here, we will handle our message in this handler. So when this background thread will complete its task, it will send a message to this handler. And this handler will notify the user that task is completed. For this, let's... So first of all, let's send an empty message from here. And when the message is received, we will notify the user that task is completed and file is downloaded. Just to mimic the phenomena of downloading a file. Now let's build again and run our project. So guys, when I'm going to click the button, my application is still responding. It is not halted. Meanwhile, our background thread is also running. And after 10 seconds, it will send a message from here. And this message will be received in the handler class. And we have set 
the task is completed and the file is downloaded. So this was the example of sending an empty message. We have sent an empty message here and we can also send a specific message or strings or any data to this handler class. Let's do it. For this, we will have to take the instance of message. So for this, we will have to obtain the message from the handler. Now make the class of bundle. And before sending that message, now let's put some parameter in the bundle. And now let's set our message to this bundle. And finally, now let's send the message. So we have sent a data of string with this key. After completing the task, this string will be received here. Now let's get that string from here. Let's copy the key of the message. and set the text with this message so guys now we are receiving a message with some data and this data is being parsed in the handler message now let's compile again and test our application so okay guys let me press the button the button is clicked text is set and the background task is running let's wait for some time until the task is completed okay so we have received the message from the background thread i am the message from background thread the message sent from the background thread and received in the handler and we have handled this message so guys hope you have enjoyed the video this is enough for this session see you in next video